Chris Stapleton, that's a wonderful Ooh, song. We've got to go see him in concert. A little too. Tennessee whiskey. Yes. To what? get us ready for Bristol, Tennessee. Bristol, Tennessee. That's where we're going. Bristol, Tennessee. Thunder Valley, baby. It was either Chris Stapleton or I was going to break into Rocky Top. Rocky Top, you always be home sweet home to me. Good old Rocky Top. Rocky Top, Tennessee. Rocky Top, Tennessee. She knows every... Want me to do the next verse? No. Two straight. Okay. Jesus. I'm just saying I could do the whole song for you. Okay. All right. Listen. All right. So we're going to Tennessee. But first, I want to talk about something. What do you got? How come people are stealing planes every place? So when did, when did plane theft become carjacking, but without the keys? Just push a button. Let me just watch a video online for uh, you, four hours. Yeah, yeah. Like you get the simulator, right? And you get a little joystick, right? Did you see what that guy was doing in Seattle? He was doing loop-de-loops. I don't... It's even... sad. It's sad for the guy that he felt that desperate. But how are you stealing planes, people? And then four days later, a guy well, steals a yeah, plane? Oh, oh, you mean Mr. Utah? And, and, and crashes his, into his house? And his wife. Oh, uh, she pissed me off. Excuse my language. I love you. No, he just tried to kill you and your son in a house with a plane. Babe, if you if you steal a plane, yes. I need to let I need to the, right. here's a disclaimer. Okay, disclaimer. I'll if write it down. If you steal a plane. If I steal Well, first a plane. if you get mad at me and then you leave and you steal a plane. Yes. And you fly it into our home. Oh, it's a lovely home. But yes. Are you gonna be <laughs> But you tell Becky to leave first. Yes. Beck get out. And yeah. That I'm not gonna I'm not gonna be on. Is that TV. it? Is that the finale? Yeah, I'm not gonna be on TV talking about uh, talking about. Oh, I, 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 I miss him. No, you try to kill him with the plane. Hey, Stop man, killing people with planes. Hey, I don't know what y'all need to do, airline industry man. Y'all gotta step y'all game up, bro. Okay, another problem that you ranted about the other day mm. that I'm making you talk about in front of the people. Why are there so many channels, but there's nothing on? We have Direct TV. We love you, Direct TV. Direct TV. You. But Ooh, we you. can't find a damn thing to watch. You can flip. You you can flip channel after channel after channel after channel. There's nothing on. There's nothing on. Except Bachelor in Paradise, which is wonderful. Tune in to ABC Monday night. You keep talking. I'm I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna turn the air conditioner off while you're talking. And so like that. Anyway, the next thing I want to talk about what is what if happens if you're stranded on a deserted island, okay, and you can only have one meal for like five years to eat every night. What would it be? Would it be coconut soup? No, for real. Like somehow miraculously on this island, there is a treasure trove of this meal. It's gonna come out fresh every day. Fresh every day. And we don't even have to cook it. See, I want to go with, I know what I want to go with, but I want to, I got to be there five years, so I want things to be okay. Whew. It's hard. You could get a dessert, too. I get a dessert? Mm-hmm. All right, the dessert is going to be, is going to be um, four of those, um, of those, um, uh, Reese's, what is it? Reese's, Reese's eggs? Yeah, the Reese's eggs. Those are good. Four of those. That's my dessert. My meal is going to be because I'm, I'm ridiculous now. I'm gonna have a I'm gonna have a ribeye every night. That's not gonna be an issue. With kale. Oh my gosh, we've been eating kale like it's going out of style. Yeah, a baked potato, and then I and then I have to have the the mayonnaise um, capers dipping sauce. Oh, the garlic aioli. Yes. With capers. Yeah. What are you doing? I have no idea. I think I would go with some kind of pasta. 
I'm gonna go shrimp linguine with like 17 car gar uh, <laughs> what are they called? Cloves of garlic. The recipe calls for like two. I put in five and lie to him and say I only put in three, but I really put in five or six. It reeks out of me. Cool. And some big fat garlic bread, a nice Caesar salad, and then some cake. What kind of cake? White cake. Okay. With like a white ice. All right, there we go. All right, let's get to Bristol. Let's get to Bristol. Let's go to Roundy Round, the Coliseum. Huge. What's going on? Who who won who won the race back in April? After it took five days to run it because of well they had a little rain it was, no it was snow the snow and then they uh, it did rain snow. and so then they ran it on Monday and Kyle Busch that's right he bumped Larson out of the way five, five laps. laps to go mm -hmm. drove to the little bump and run and just drove to victory lane baby yeah it was uh, it was pretty amazing and J Jimmy Johnson ended up getting the third place finish Ricky Stenhouse. Alex Bowman, Eric Almarola, Kevin Harvick, uh, Clint Boyer, Joey Logano, and Ryan Newman round out your top ten. So no, so no uh, Truex. No, no Truex. This is not a really good track for Truex. Well, no tracks have been really good for him until the last couple of years. Right. He finished. He finished twenty. He finished thirtieth. Oh um, man. This, but he had an accident. He did not finish the race. So there was eighteen lead changes among eight drivers. Who won the who won both stages though? Brad Keselowski. Let's do it again, Brad. We need you, man. No, who? That's the. This is where the famous who and, and Kyle Busch is an ass is. And and yeah, and Brad Brad was actually he actually led sixty seven laps, but it, he had a bad restart at the end. It was some mechanic issues, and of course, twenty. Okay, so we had qualifying today. Yes. And Let's so talk about qualifying. Who, who's on the pole? So, the, so, so your pole guy is going to be Kyle Larson. All right. And then it's going to be followed by Chase Elliott, Kyle Busch in third. All right. Paul Menard fourth, William Byron fifth, Kevin Harvick sixth, All right. Denny Hamlin. Okay. Then we got Eric Almarola, Kurt Busch, and Ryan Blaney rounding out. Your, so, but if, if if you look at this, it's yeah. a, it's a hotspot. And then again. You don't see Truex. You don't see Truex. In the, in, in the top ten. Now, who races well here comparatively to um, the, the qualifying order? So, Eric Jones has two starts. His average start is 7.5. His average finish is 9.5. Yeah. So, he, he does pretty well in the, in the limited amount of starts he's had here. Ricky Stinkhouse, he has six top tens in the last ten starts. Yeah. He's, you're gonna have to deal with him tomorrow. Cause, yeah, because he drives like a clown. But yeah. whatever. So he his average finish is ten point eight. Chase Elliott is doing well here with an average finish of eleventh. Uh, Kevin Harvick, Jimmy Johnson, of course, has ran well here. Kyle Busch actually is down on the list despite sweeping you know two different weekends. Right. So so he's down at six. Right. So he has twenty five starts here. That's right. He has seven seven wins. Seven people. He has. 10 top 5s, 15 top 10s. He's led 2,233 2, 2, laps. However, what's the problem? Where? DNF. DNFs. He has a few DNFs. He has four DNFs here. That's crazy. That's what will prevent him from being higher. I have, I have confidence tomorrow. Right. He's going gonna... to... Get a win. And then his brother's right behind him, Kurt Busch. Mm -hmm. He's got five wins here, 10 top top fives, 17 top tens. He's another one that can get it done, but he, he also has three DNFs. So, again, which is, can be said for most tracks. Right. You need to finish. Survive. Yeah. you got to survive. Running at the end. Yeah. Who are you, are you running at the end? And then we'll round, we'll, we'll round out the top ten of these drivers. So we got Clint Boyer, Denny Hamlin. And, and Ryan Newman. And again, no Truex. No Truex. So so two of the top three are good here uh, statistically. We'll see if Truex could break into the pack and be, you know, claim his third spot in the big top three or if it's really just going to be a Harvick and Bush show. Is Kyle Larson trying to get revenge from April race um, and, and put Kyle Bush, you know, show him what he could do? 
We'll see if, if, if Larson can get it done. Kyle, Kyle Larson is looking for a win. He, he He's in the chase, but he wants a win because he needs playoff points. Mm-hmm. But Kyle Busch is going to be looking to even it back up with Kevin Harvick this weekend. And if I had to put money on somebody, Kyle Busch is going to win this race this weekend. That's right. I, I think so, too, because I, I think he's in a little bit of a tit-for-tat with Harvick. Okay, Harvick, you want to go ahead? I could, I'll match it. We know who obviously are the drivers to beat. That's right. Yep. What else we got? That's it. That's it. Hey, listen. Make sure you guys follow us on Twitter, Facebook. Where else? The YouTube. You, you, YouTube. You guys will see us Subscribe. there. Subscribe. Subscribe, right? And if you guys have any questions, Tell please questions. let us know. Want me to sing? Want us? Want me to sing us out? Um, you can. You can try to sing us out. No. No, we can do this. All right, see you guys later. I am for love and all the same old places. All right, see you next time, folks.